downtown Disney at Disneyland reviewing uh, three beers that are special here to Ballast Point at downtown Disney. You can only get these beers here. So we're going to take a taste of all three and we'll let you know how they are. Okay, the first beer we're going to try is the R&D Woody. It's uh, a Blackberry IPA. So, here we go. It tastes similar to the Sculpin that has that traditional uh, IPA Ballast Point taste that you can assume you're going to get when you drink an IPA from Ballast Point. But it does have a little bit of that blackberry finish. Try one more time, you'll love it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I prefer the Mandarin or the Aloha Sculpin or the Apple Sculpin, but all in all, it's not a bad beer. I'd give it uh, a little borderline. Not a not bomb, but not a bust. This one's called the Blood Orange Fabrication Brew. It's a hazy weed. It definitely tastes the orange in there. It's definitely a little bit drier. But it still has that crisp finish. It's pretty good, actually. I'd give it a bomb. It's good. All right, last beer. This was the R&D Milk Stout. Really good flavor. Definitely tastes chocolate. That's pretty smooth. I really like this one. I think this is my favorite out of the three. It's really good beer. I uh, definitely bomb for sure. Okay, so let's recap our video from our day at Ballast Point at Downtown Disney. So we tried three beers. These three beers are exclusive to Downtown Disney. One being the R&D Woody IPA, which is a Blackberry IPA. That particular IPA I wasn't a huge fan of. Ballast Point offers a lot of really good beers, including the Manta Ray Double IPA, as well as the varieties that they have with Sculpin. So if you're gonna go to have an IPA at Ballast Point, I'd probably go with one of those beers and maybe pass on that one. Um, the next one we tried was the, um, the Bowie, which is essentially a blood orange hazy uh, Hefeweizen, which was actually pretty good. It was a bit dry. I'm not a huge Hefeweizen guy, but if you guys like Hefs, like Blue Moon, some of the other ones that are out on the market, you should be a pretty big fan of this particular beer. So that one might be worth a try. But the Dry Milk Stout by far was the best beer that they had that's exclusive to Downtown Disney. That's the one I would uh, definitely try. It's a little bit on the darker side, obviously, which you guys can tell from the video, but um, it was pretty good. It did have that dry taste to it, but uh, I thought out of those three particular beers, that was the best one to try. So uh, if you liked our video today, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Also uh, follow us on Instagram at Mickey's Munchies. We're gonna be doing our next video on uh, the Lunar event coming up, Lunar New Year. So check that one out as well. That one should be dropping the next couple weeks. But thanks for uh, watching our video and make sure you subscribe.